If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Those are Jesus' words in John chapter 15, verse 7. But I wonder how many of us really know what that means. Like, what does it mean to actually abide in Jesus? Today's featured Bible actually helps us do that. It helps us abide in God's word and it teaches us how to get his word to abide in us. In fact, it's actually called the Abide Bible. <laughs> and I'm so grateful for our friends at Thomas Nelson for sponsoring this video so I can share more about it with you. In fact, it's this Bible that I saw last summer at a convention and this is the Bible that made me say, I want to do video reviews. I feel like more people need to know about what's in the Abide Bible. So this is kind of the Bible that got it all started. Um, it's taken this many videos for me to actually get to review it. Let's dive in. I just realized I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Asherita. I'm the founder of One Thing Alone Ministries. And what we do here is all about helping you enjoy Jesus through creative Bible habits. And that's really why this Bible caught my attention because there are so many creative prompts on every single page to help you engage the word, to help you connect with God, to help you kind of get out of the box when it comes to the way that you read the Bible, the way that you study it. So the Abide Bible is not so much a study Bible as it is a devotional Bible. And by that I mean, it will help lead your heart in growing devotion toward God. Throughout every book of the Bible, there are these journaling prompts that will encourage you to slow down, to open yourself to God's presence through his spirit, to ask him to speak to you. And then it actually gives you questions to reflect on scripture and to write out what, what comes to mind as you're thinking about it. So right now in my local church, our pastor is preaching through the book of Matthew. And just last Sunday was covering the first few verses of Matthew chapter seven. So as I open here, I can see there's a journaling prompt for the first six verses of Matthew. It encourages me to open myself to God's presence, to ask him to speak and reveal himself through the word, and then to reflect on um, these questions that help us to understand scripture, but also to apply it to our lives, to use it as a lens through which to ask God to examine our hearts so that it leads to inner transformation. Um, so it's just really helpful ways to um, dig deeper, like I said, in a way that's not just head knowledge, but actually affects our heart and transforms our lives. Another creative way to engage God's word to abide in his word is by praying scripture. And if you are familiar with her ministry, if you've been around here on the channel for a while, you know that I have a weekly prayer podcast called Prayers of Rest. It's 10 minute guided episodes to help you pray God's word. Um, but that is also here in the Abide Bible. So praying scripture, it prompts you to take God's words and actually pray through them for yourself. So you'll find these praying scripture prompts uh, on almost every page of the Bible. So journaling God's word, praying scripture. There are also ways to picture God's word. And this is something, honestly, I haven't seen in any other Bible. Like the other two features I've seen, ways to journal, prompts to kind of pray through scripture, but I've never seen this um, aspect of combining beautiful art created um, to help us imagine what it would be like to step into the pages of scripture or causing us to pause and reflect on the beauty of God's word, on the beauty of God's creation. So if you're a visual learner or if you just have a great appreciation for the arts, <laughs> um, this is such a creative, unique way to pair art with scripture in a way that will enrich your experience of God's word. One of the last creative Bible habits that are kind of woven into the pages of the Abide Bible is contemplate. And this is a four step process to help you read God's word, to help you pray through it, to meditate on it. Uh, Psalm 1 says, blessed is the person who meditates on God's word all day long. It continues to bear fruit in our lives. So if that that's always been like, okay, I know how to read God's word. I know how to study maybe inductively. I don't know what it means to meditate. Um, then these, these prompts to help you contemplate, to help you meditate 
will really encourage you to store God's word in your heart in a way that keeps bringing it to mind throughout the day. So reading, meditating, praying, contemplating, um, just a way to really go deeper and um, abide in God's word and have his word abide in our hearts. The Bide Bible is actually the Bible that I have on my nightstand. It's the one I reach for at the end of the day when I just need help kind of settling in for the night, settling my heart and my soul. It's a great guided way to read scripture and meditate, contemplate, um, allow it to kind of settle in your heart, settle your mind before you go to sleep or when you start your day. Um, this is actually the copy that I have next to me and I don't know if you can see this but um, it's all like colored on by my kids. <laughs> this is the cloth bound edition. Um, so just fair warning if you have little ones around and you get the cloth bound one, um, marker does not come out very well, which is not a fault of the Bible. It's probably more on me. My, four, my four-year-old needs to, um, he sees me kind of highlighting and marking in my Bible and so he doesn't quite yet understand the parameters around how to do that properly. Um, but this is well-worn and well-loved. So I'm so happy to show you um, the Abide Bible. Again, this is the hardback cloth bound. This is the leather edition. Uh, whichever one you reach for, <laughs> if your heart desire is to abide in God's word, to engage with scripture in creative ways, um, that really is the heart of our ministry. That's all, that's everything you'll find on onethingalone.com on our website is to help you enjoy Jesus through creative Bible habits. Um, and so that is why I was so thrilled to find that it's actually in Bible form. <laughs> like here's God's word and here are these creative prompts to abide in God's word right next to them. I love this quote from A.W. Tozer. The Bible is not an end in itself, but a means to bring men and women to an intimate and satisfying knowledge of God, that they may enter into him, that they may delight in his presence, that they might taste and know the inner sweetness of the very God himself at the core and center of their hearts. I mean, you've probably heard people talk about God's word that way, that um, it just brings them delight that they are satisfied in God's presence. But if you ever feel like reading the Bible is boring or dry, or just like this academic exercise that you have to do, um, those are the very challenges that the Abide Bible seeks to confront and to help us truly dwell in his word. So if you're looking for a Bible that will help you truly abide in God's word and have his word abide in you, um, that's really what the Abide Bible is all about. And I hope you pick up a copy of it. Um, just make sure you keep the markers away from your little ones. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for watching this video review. Um, if you want to see more Bible reviews coming up on our channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, if talking about creative Bible habits makes you think like, yeah, I want more of that. I, I want to be more consistent in reading the Bible. I want to learn more creative ways to engage God's word. Um, head over to onethingalone.com. We have so many resources there. You can sign up to join our email community. I send out an email every Monday morning with a devotional and with some creative ideas to help you engage God's word, have God's word abide in you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I hope you find joy in Jesus, the one who delights in you.